Hey, I'm Sunny Ray Cosplay. I go by Ray, and today I am going to be cosplaying Spider Man 2099. One of the coolest things that I liked about this character was that it was originated from a lot of the creators that began Spider Man. Everything from Steve Ditko, Stan Lee, Peter David, Rick Lombardi. And this just brings a different version of the character, but it's still from the minds that originally started it. So I think that's something really special. Spider-Man 2099. Obviously I'm not Spider-Man, I'm Spider-Woman 2099, but you know, it's a really cool suit and I couldn't resist. So here is a breakdown of the character. So I am cosplaying Spider-Man 2099, Miguel O'Hara, who is living in the year 2099, obviously. And he is basically tasked or on a mission to try and recreate the era of heroes, which is when normal all the Marvel heroes used to be, but he's obviously in the future. So tries to recreate Spider-Man powers, but accident happens, he ends up with you know, the DNA coding of a spider ends up with spider fangs, spider eyes, spider sensibilities, spider powers. It's all around really cool. All that happens and voila, you get Miguel O'Hara, Spider-Man 2099. Pretty cool. He's got an AI called Lila that is like his sidekick. So it's a really cool character and he's off on some adventures. The art style is definitely something I enjoy a lot, even though it's an older style because of how long ago it was done, but Rick Lombardi did a wonderful job of making sure his use of color was just right and didn't, even though this takes place in a futuristic setting, it didn't feel so much like the Jetsons. It really had some grounding reality to it. I am a huge Blade Runner fan. Like, I love Blade Runner. It pulls so many elements that I know and love from those films and it ties it into something that I love, which is Spider-Man. Reality Dragon.